Today we're going to show you our real-time integration between NetSuite and Outlook. And at the end of the demo, if you'd like to get more information, please visit us at sync.scscloud.com, where you can find all types of more information, including another demo video, and the ability to fill out a form to get started now in our 30-day free trial program. So to get started, to show you this demo, what I want to do is I want to start in NetSuite. And here, what you're going to be able to see is a customer record that we set up. So we created a customer called Josh Distribution who has an email associated with him. And this is going to be our demo customer uh, that we're going to use for the purposes of this presentation. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to jump into Outlook. Now, everything that we're doing can be done in Outlook.com, where we are right now as well as it can be done in your desktop version of your Outlook. So it doesn't matter to us, you can do it either way. So to start off, what I'm gonna do is talk about inbound emails. So from an inbound email perspective, when I receive an email from that customer that I just showed you, Josh Distribution, what's gonna happen is, like normal email, it's gonna pop up in my Outlook. Now, you can see that it just appeared here in my Outlook, so I'm gonna go ahead and click it. Now what you're going to see over here on the right is our add-in, our Outlook add-in within Outlook. And you'll see that it's doing a search. It's saying, hey, this was sent from Josh Lasav and joshlasav at gmail.com. So let's go ahead and look up that name and or email address in NetSuite to see if there's any matches. So the different matches that I see, I see a contact, I see a customer, and this is the customer that we were looking at. And I can always go back to that record by opening the record from this button. I see employees and I can also have different types of transactions such as opportunities and sales orders and invoices. Net net I can also create new records on the fly in case I want to create things like customer records or leads etc. So what I want to do now is attach this email. You can see that there's an attachment and a quick message. So I'm going to go ahead and check the box and log the email. Now, as is logging, you'll see a new red box pop up on the email. And over here, that says it's logged to NetSuite. And that's really important because what this is showing me is of all the emails in my inbox, I can quickly and easily decipher between what's been attached into NetSuite or what's not. Now, if you want to include all the back and forth within this, this one email, I can also auto log the rest of the conversation just by hitting that toggle. So now going forward, if I click off this email and click back, it's going to show me the log history that currently it's only logged to Josh, and then I could also log it to other things. And at any point, if I want to log this to someone else within my NetSuite, whether that's an individual or a company or a vendor, or whatever that might be, I can do that as well. So I just typed in the name Brooks because that's another person that I want this email to be attached to. And what's going to appear is my log history and then search results for different options to attach this to Brooks. Okay, so now let's look at what this looks like inside NetSuite. So if I jump over here to NetSuite, we have that customer. And then if I go down to messages, it's going to use standard functionality. I'm going to go ahead and refresh just to make sure the latest and greatest. And what you can see here this morning on 7373, I have the email. So if I go ahead and view this email, I can see the subject, the message, as well as the attachment. And just like data NetSuite, had I attached this to something that was not the customer level, maybe I attached it to an opportunity or transaction such as an invoice, it would it would post in the messages section of those transactions and then roll up into the customer record. Again, all part of native NetSuite. Now let's talk about an outbound email. So on the other side of the coin, we have outbound email. So if I create an email and I want to send it to that customer, I can put in their email. I'm going to call this my outbound message. I'm going to say outbound message one, two, three. And then what I want to do is make sure that NetSuite captures this. So I have a button here that says BCC to NetSuite. In Outlook.com, I follow this path. In Outlook Desktop, it's a button that's on my ribbon that's easy to click. 
Either way, I have that option. It's going to create this BCC for me. And when I send the email, it's going to send it to NetSuite and capture against that customer or vendor or whomever, whomever it may be. Now, one thing to know is if that outbound email address does not match something in NetSuite, we have a saved search that'll show you any emails that have not been matched, and then you can decide what to do with them, whether it's add a new customer or vendor or whatever the appropriate record may be, ignore it and so forth and so on. But net net back here in NetSuite, I'm going to hit refresh. Here I have my latest and greatest email from the outbound message. Okay. Now the way we make this all possible and the way you get this different log history over here is in NetSuite we've created a couple pieces of settings that you can control. The first is our matching type list. Now this is what said, this is what allows us to re record emails against different record types and again the record types being over here. So here I have cases, I have contacts, I have invoices, I have opportunities and so forth and so on. I can also have subsets of information. So here I have contacts for California and that's just using a save search filter or contacts for Florida. So I can control the record types that I want to attach emails to and then filter them down as need be. Then what I do is I associate each user of the Outlook connector with a profile. So we have some pre-built profiles here, things like accounts receivable or sales. And what's going to happen is when you create these profiles, and you can create your own or use ours, doesn't matter to us. But when you work with these profiles, what it's going to do is give you the option to select which matching types you want that profile to use. So for sales, I have contacts and customers and employees and opportunities. And certainly I could add more here as well. And then finally, where this all ties together is going to be on the employee record. So if I look at the employee record, what that's going to show me is how I give access to the individual to be able to sync with their outlook. So if I scroll down to the access section of the employee record, what you can see here is the profile that's associated with this user and their email address that we're going to use some token-based authentication to be able to sync between NetSuite and Outlook. Now here's something that's important to know too. Anyone who's going to have access to record emails back and forth between NetSuite and Outlook needs to have an employee record set up in NetSuite. However, they don't need access to NetSuite. Our approach does not require them to have to have a user license at all, just to be set up as an employee uh, record. So the value there is if you have a handful of people who you want to have their emails recorded, but they don't have access to NetSuite, you'll still be able to leverage our tool. And that's it for our demo. As mentioned at the beginning, if you'd like more information or like to chat, please go to sync.scscloud.com. You can find a lot of more information on this website, and you can also click Get Started, and it'll take you to a form that where we'll reach back out to you in order to reconnect. Thanks for your time.